Don't want to pay for more web space? Try these free squeeze tips. Every business wants to cut costs and get the maximum out of their web hosting subscription. But there are times when you have very little disk space left and very little time before your emails start bouncing. How can you create a bit of more space or squeeze that extra space out for free without having to pay more money? This article explains how to maximize the use of your web hosting space without paying for an upgrade. Identify the cause The first step that you should take is to identify what exactly has filled up your account space. Was it email? Was it a particular folder? Did someone upload a large file? Are you being attacked? Is there some script which is creating files? Did you just install some large web app? All these questions need to be addressed so that you can pinpoint what the cause of your disk space usage is. Most control panels and web hosts allow you to see a detailed breakup of the disk space usage, right up to the file level. This means you can see exactly which file or folder is the cause of your problem and remove it or deal with it appropriately. Checking error logs and database may also be a good idea so that you can get some clues on your issue. Remove unwanted files old backups, archived logs, and used website files. Old website designs are some of the commonly forgotten clutter which fills up your web space. Website administrators and developers don't even know what their predecessors have left behind. Many designers have a habit of keeping different versions of every web page in the hosting account. This means that even a 10-year-old version of the page, which has changed many times after that, is still lying useless and consuming storage space. Such types of files can always be removed to make place for new ones. Remove unwanted email although your spam mail and trash go into a separate folder, the mails are also counted towards the usage of your disk space. This means that you are paying to host useless files. Regularly pruning and cleaning your email folders may give you a lot of extra space, which you wouldn't have figured out and would have ended up paying for. Set email filters and limit setting up an email filter will help to prevent any unwanted or junk mails from hitting your inbox and taking up space. You can set up filters to reject large messages or even to route large messages to a different email address. You can also set up quota limit for every email account so that you can keep a tab on the email usage of your staff and employees and also prevent one person's emails from jamming up your entire hosting space. This way, only that particular account will bounce incoming messages and inform users that the account is full. If you allow dynamic quotas based on the total summary space of your account, you may be exposing yourself to a big risk of one email account blocking all email. Even if one account is under attack or is being flooded with mail, it will fill up all your disk space. Setting liberal limits is a better solution than dynamic space quota. Check the trash folders most often, it is the trash folders of email accounts and CMS systems which fills up space. Regularly cleaning up the trash or setting it to auto-delete after a certain number of days will help you to manage your space better. Compress files and folders If you have a lot of data and text files, you may want to compress those files so that they take up less place. You can also do the same for large image files and even for databases. Folders and archived files can all be compressed together in a single zip file so that they are easier to store in the long run. Many hosts provide free space for providing testimonials or making YouTube review videos about their services. Ask your web host if they offer any such option, which could help you saving lots of money.